your journey to RIL's KG D6 cap. Exciting stuff for anyone, especially a business journalist. The project sits in the eye of media storm with the wind blowing only one way. So far, it's only been Anil Ambani who's spoken against his brother Mukesh and the government. So when RIL agreed to fly me to its state-of-the-art deep-sea drilling project in Bay of Bengal and talk with its CEO PMS Prasad, I was ready for a perspective-changing experience. My journey starts with a ride aboard an RIL jet from Mumbai to Rajamundri in Andhra Pradesh. Then aboard an RIL chopper. a sight when the mammoth project comes into view. It sits imposingly in the middle of an angry sea. Well, our journey to explore the biggest gas find in the world starts from here, that is Dhirubhai 1. KGD6 is one of the most complex deep sea projects ever built. It's sad, but its achievements are obscured behind the cloud of controversy Anil Ambani has raised around it. The project first made news for the right reasons. No one had hit upon a gas this size in the last 30 years. For energy-starved India, which imported 75% of its oil and gas, the KG Basin gas find was and is a godsend. This is the world's largest gas discovery for the year 2002. But it again came into attention when both the brothers had a dispute over the KG Basin. At this point in time, there are about three wells that are operational here in the D1 block and one gas injection well. Since the gas is 60 kilometers offshore and up to 2 kilometers below the seabed, it could be reached by divers. So RIL became one of the first companies in the world to use robots to drill for the gas. In these blocks, gas is extracted through these computers. This control room controls everything that happens under the seabed. One of the biggest challenge for the company was the location of the basin, the Bay of Bengal. It's plagued by extremely rough weather conditions, cyclones and storms are common, making construction possible only four months in a year. Despite that, RIL struck gas here in six and a half years, something that has never ever been achieved before. It was in 2002 when the KG Basin gas find made headline news since it was the largest gas find uh, in the world in that year. Uh, but few years later it made news for all the wrong reasons but spent some time here in understanding the magnitude of the entire project and what RIL is trying to do. Uh, Mr. PMS Prasad, he is the executive director and also the uh, CEO of this uh, huge Reliance Industries Limited. Uh, also, he is the man who is at the helm of affairs as far as this uh, huge project uh, is concerned. Mr. Prasad, the, uh, this, uh, I have to ask you this. The fact that I spent a day here and I realized the entire magnitude of the event. Uh, also, the fact that when I spoke to employees here, the kind of uh, commitment that they have to the entire project. Uh, what does it make you feel seeing it grow like this in the last six and a half years? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, that's, you know, that's a hallmark of Reliance. One thing you see in any Reliance manufacturing facilities or projects or businesses is the very, very high commitment level. You know, each, every one of us is committed more than 100% and uh, this is no exception. Yes, this is the baby in the group because we have brought in a lot of people from outside, but the fact that we are able to instill the same sense of commitment is something that you know the organization actually is proud of. Uh, you know, it's uh, by the cross fertilization of the ideas and the level of empowerment and the sense of achievement and and the support that they get, you know, is what make them feel so committed. Uh, Mr. Prasad, I'll be very honest, uh, because of the entire controversy surrounding the KG Basin, maybe, maybe the magnitude of the entire project was lost. I have been woken up since I am here, uh, but do you feel the sheen somewhere is, gets lost uh, in this different variety of news uh, uh, that KG Basin actually has been making? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, you're right. You see, you know, what uh, kind of, uh, you know, doesn't make me feel happy is, you know, 
thousands of people worked here, and there are tens of thousands actually, people worked here to make this project, to build this asset, and a great, a great asset for the country. And today, as you know, it's delivering more than 40 million cubic meters of gas to the country, to the consumers in the country. Now, by raising these controversies, you are really undermining the efforts of these tens of thousands of people that worked on the project. One thing that strikes you here is the passion.